two, one. Hi everybody, it's Lynn Aglipe here, your 2020 Palos Verdes Association of Realtors President, and I am here with Mike Harper, President-elect. We are hoping that you are all safe, um, you're healthy, and um, you're adapting to this kind of new way of life. Uh, we wanted to give you a brief update on what's happening. Uh, this Thursday, April 9th at 11 a.m., we have our PV Association of Realtors attorney, John Giordanelli, who's gonna be doing a town hall session, answering all of the important questions that you might have uh, in order to run your business. So please join us for that. It is going to be at, again, at 11 a.m. this Thursday. Email the association with any, with any questions that you might have. Um, next Monday, Art Carter, CEO of CRMLS, will be Zooming with us live. April 13th from noon to two o'clock, he's gonna be going over the clear cooperation policy that's gonna be coming into effect on May 1st. He'll answer and hopefully um, uh, get to all of your questions on the coming soons that um, are, are gonna be taking place. Uh, so that is again, John, this Thursday, 11 a.m. and Art next Monday, from noon to two. We hope to see you there. Make sure you register. Um, also, now that we're in essential business, on March 20th, CAR um, set out their uh, best practices guidelines. And Mike, you want to kind of go over that with us? Yeah, let's hunker down and get through that. So um, we all know now that uh, real estate is considered an essential service. And uh, this is by the executive order um, through the uh, state of Cali uh, California, their safer at home executive order. Um, and this is also uh, applicable by most local municipalities as well. Um, it, uh, it appears that the four cities on the Palos Verdes Peninsula follow county orders, but to be sure, always check with the city you are doing business in and uh, follow your broker's guidance as well. Um, because every office has different guidelines and it's important to be, um, you know, in, in accordance with your office and uh, the broker's guidelines. Um, so as Lynn mentioned on March 20th, CAR published a set of best practices guidelines to assist agents in the safe practice of real estate. So um, a brief description of those guidelines are as follows. First off, uh, there are absolutely no open houses uh, to be done by agents at this time. Um, that's kind of a no-brainer, but that's uh, first and foremost, no open houses, and all showings should really be done virtually if possible. Um, all activities should be completed uh, electronically when possible, um, and any person and any in-person activities require all parties to exercise social distancing and to use extreme caution while around others. Um, all agents should understand recommendations provided by the CDC and use all necessary protective gear as well. Uh, that includes masks, booties, gloves, etc. And then further, all parties should sanitize themselves and the property prior to and after all showings. Um, we want to avoid using any third party uh, non-essential services uh, on the property um, wherever possible. <clears throat> and then real realtors should consider all of the protocols when conducting in-person activities, but should also refrain from any non-electronic unsolicited marketing uh, during the COVID-19 related declaration of, uh, declaration of emergency. So Mike, just want to interject really quick. That means no print material, no brochure, no brochures and no flyers. Is that correct? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. During this okay. time, you do not want to do any of that or right. disseminate any of that. And then brokers may also want to consider extending listings, um, the listing periods, putting properties on hold, or even uh, stopping the active marketing of properties. When a client has, you know, compromised health or um, may be considered a high risk due to the COVID-19 virus. Um, I think more than anything, it's important to exercise extreme caution to protect the safety of all those involved um, during this time if you choose to participate in real estate uh, related activities in this climate. That's great. Thanks, Mike. That's a, a lot of great information. And everybody, just to be on the safe side, please check with the CAR website for your complete and thorough um, uh, list of best practices that they offer. It's um, on the CAR website and you can pull it up there. Um, other things I just kind of wanted to go over really quick. 
The association's really working hard behind the scenes as well as the board of directors. We've been meeting, we've been um, uh, trying to get updates out to you as quickly as possible. You can check those upda updates if you uh, via email and definitely via social media, Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you like us there. Make sure you follow us our follow our pages. Um, we tend to get things out through those outlets really, really quickly. Um, but as far as what's up? Wanted to mention one other thing, Lynn, before you, uh, you get towards your conclusion here is that, you know, the, there are four new COVID-19 related oh, right. uh, forms uh, that CAIR has published. And um, uh, there's two that I see um, that are being used primarily for listings and uh, for buyers. Um, and uh, one is the RLA CAA, and that's uh, the um, Listing Agreement Coronavirus Addendum or Amendment. And then uh, the PEAD, and that's the Coronavirus Property Entry Advisory and Declaration. There's two other optional forms um, that are also being used, but I see these being primarily used um, with a lot of the uh, with a lot of the brokerages in our area. Um, all four of the um, forms will be discussed uh, by John at the town hall on Thursday. But I just wanted to touch on that. Thanks. Thanks for I I completely forgot about that. I haven't eaten all day, so no worries. Flip my mind. But anyways, thank you for the update. Um, and also just make sure, check with CAR if you have uh, any financial needs as well, because they are offering that at this time. Please check with the, the CAR website to get all of the information, all of the latest updates. And until next month, we're going to be doing a couple more Zooms in between then. But stay safe, everybody, and have a great week. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay.